record by names Sisa Rumenge. I born in Congo, in Ibonia, and uh, now I'm living in a Kakuma refugee camp. During 1999, it was kind of genocide, where when they find that you're Hema, they know you, or there's some signs they used to see on the hands, size if you are tall, the size of your face, they just kill you. It was on 27th. That's when they attacked our home and they, they burn our home, they burn everything. They burn my mom, they burn my pap, my brother, my sister. They burn everything. So after they killed my family, I had to run away. So we had now to walk up to the border. Because walking up to the border, many people were like going, refugees, ladies, carrying the luggage, it was okay. Then when I reached to Kenya, I went to UNHCR in Nairobi, and uh, they assessed my case, and uh, they booked for me a bus, they sent me to Kakuma. Second day, I went to the football ground to try and play football. Because there's a team, there's other guys who are playing there, just trying to see if I can make friendship. Then there's this guy I met there. He's a Bajun, Somal Bajun. He took me to his family. Then I found he, his mother. He asked me my life, how I live, whatever, and I told her about my fears, that I fear to live alone and whatever. She welcomed me to stay with them. So we stayed them, with them. I called her mother, she called me son. So that's how I started even, like, feel I can do something, I can work. I got a job from Film Aid just because I was there. Because before, when I was alone, I used like to think a lot. When I sleep, I can, I don't know how I can call it, Nashitoka, Kirara, So I had that fear. When I, like, I dream, I do just dream bad seeing people killing each other. So I was fearing to stay alone. So uh, that mama, she assisted me a lot. I count her like my mother. Uh, so by now in Kakuma I have a family. Yeah. There is a say that they say like never cast the sun before it goes down. No. I mean when you wake up in the morning, don't say like this day is bad before the sun goes down. Yeah. So I encourage them never give up. Whatever bad thing you pass through, you should never give up. When you are still alive, still you can make it.